The more I looked, the more I saw that agriculture had more potential initially for starting a program. And um, so we went out and we started talking to farmers everywhere throughout Michigan and started reaching out to the Grand Vision and the Ag Sector Alliance Group and, and trying to get a feel for what is the need in the area of agriculture. And we realized more and more how profound the, the important the agriculture industry is in Michigan. So we decided that agriculture and with a technology component was a really important program that we could deliver in Northern Michigan that would, would meet a need and a need in, in, in a shorter program, a two-year program, uh, that will get students into the workforce quickly. Farming is becoming very technical. The computers generate a lot of things from, you know, what it, the expected crop yield is, what areas grow the best type of products, um, as far as, you know, even into the genetics of the animals that you want to grow, either for dairy or beef or swine, you know, and the crosses that are going to produce, hopefully, your best products. I'd like to, to have my own farm. Um, I haven't quite touched base on which type of farm I'd like to have, but I know there's a lot to it, so that's why I like to get more in depth in the classes that they've offered here at Baker to help me figure that out. You know, I've always been interested in agriculture. When I was in high school, I took the agri-science class offered through the Kerr Tech Center. I've always been an avid 4-H member, really enjoyed the farming type aspect big into horses. Um, I actually became a certified farrier, which is ag-related. I attended Baker College and became a licensed veterinary technician. Uh, when this program became available with the big farming industry that we have around here, I was pretty excited. Um, I was really glad when they accepted me into it. I'm hoping to you know, expand on my current knowledge, my current work and education and hopefully develop more in, into the farming industry here. So we see our our college is becoming a vital part of this region in terms of, of providing a service, not just an education, but in helping bring the community together. And so coming to the county fair, at least you're dealing with young people who are raising animals, and, and they don't just raise an animal, they don't just feed the animal food and raise it, but they have to contact farmers about buying, or you know, that, that bought, the, bought the animal last year, and. Uh, and then they got to show the animal, you know, they got to learn to walk with the animal and relate to the animal, and then they, you know, bring it to the auction. So, yeah, it, 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 is, a, it is preparing them for, you know, possibly working in, in uh, agriculture by doing these types of things. So, um, we sure like to support it. You know. There's a lot of organizations within the community that are already addressing some of these things. We want our students to be directly involved with their community. That's, that's the, the best way for them to be prepared for careers. Well, what we do is a, we're a commercial crop applicating business and for the past six years I've been working with him on that. In the past three years I've actually been operating a commercial crop sprayer so I kind of have an idea of weed control and soil sciences. That's one of the basic things we do and I plan on working locally. That's my overall goal is to stay here. I've always been interested in agriculture. I've done 4-H my whole life and uh, just recently started working on a farm. I've started with milking um, which is kind of on a dairy farm where you always start out at. Um, and uh, I actually had to have, I have had a hands-on um, with the birthing of calves and that's that's pretty cool. We're going to be working with the zoos. They're a local farmer. Um, there's some of the acreage that hopefully we are going to be doing as organic farming and some of it as conventional so that way as a class we can kind of do a comparative. But basically what we want to do is be able to start from the ground up. So the soil testing, see what kind of fertilization we need to do, see what needs to happen before our crops can go in and then grow with it. It's all about community, it's about local food systems, it's about health and eating safely and eating better eating people. I mean, this is what people want. This is a paradigm shift that we're seeing. And, and so we're just extremely excited about what we can do with this and how we can bring young people into Michigan's economy.